Okay, hey guys, so uh, my name's Jay, and I'm going to help you guys out in figuring out how can I turn music that I hear almost every day and throw it into Starbound like I've seen other players do. There are two ways you can do it. You can compose it by actually typing out the ABC code, really difficult to do, or you can do what I'm going to show you, and it's going to make your life extremely easy in comparison. I'm going to try to be as straightforward, as step-by-step -step as I can possibly be, so bear with me. Uh, this is my first tutorials video. And yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and download and install Tux Guitar. Um, I'm on their download page. I'm going to post this link into YouTube, like the YouTube description so you guys can have it. It's uh, tuxguitar.herrick.com, so on. Okay, um, and you're going to want to download your release. If you're on Linux, you should know how to do it. It's simple, like get or whatever. Mac OS, I mean, there's a file here for you as well, and of course we have Windows right up here. So you're going to download it, install it, it does require Java, so uh, just be ready for that, and cool. So I'm going to assume that you managed to at least get it installed. From here on, I'm going to be a lot more hold your hand along the way. Next, what we're going to do, we need to get a guitar profile. Now, you need to be careful about what kind of songs you choose, because any music that requires a lot of chord progression, so, for example, if you're going to play a song like Stairway to Heaven that has a lot of chords, I'm pretty sure will just cause the game to crash when it tries to play. So you're going to want to avoid songs that are heavy on chords, which you're going to want to play more of, are songs like, for example, I've already done it successfully, so I'm going to show you, if I were to get Crystallized by Lindsey Stirling, okay, I'm going to choose Crystallize, and because there are no chords in this song, it should work just fine without me doing anything, okay, I'm going to show you a workaround if there are parts of a song or instruments in a song that do have chords. So I went ahead and I just went Download Guitar Pro tab. Now I'm going to go ahead and boom, I've got it open. Hooray! So like I said, we can look through here, and at no point in the song, on either instrument, okay, on either instrument, do we see multiple notes being strummed or hit at once. At all times, we have just single notes being played at a time. Starbound likes that, and frankly, I'm pretty sure ABC notation is much easier to do and convert to with this kind of a file. So we're going to do that. Now, let's just say the lead guitar has chords in it. How are you going to fix this? And you know violin doesn't have chords in it, so, you know, this one does, that one doesn't. You're just going to click on lead guitar. You're going to hit track, remove track. In this case, I'm not going to... Oopsies. In this case, I'm not going to bother doing that, only because we don't have that problem. But that's how you fix it. Okay, and then if you have all the tracks with chords, tough luck. Pick another song. We're going to go ahead and hit file. We're going to go to export. We're going to hit music XML. Okay. And what I've done is, okay, so I'll show you how to get there just in case you don't know how. You're going to go to local disk. You're going to go to program files. You're going to go all the way down to Steam. Boom. And then from Steam, you're going to go to Steam apps. You're going to go to common. You're going to go to Starbound, and I'll post this directory in the description as well. And then you're going to go to assets. And then somewhere along here, songs. I created a music XML. I try nothing else matters. I'll show you that one. It actually has so much going on in terms of chords that it crashes the game. So I'm just going to show you what happens after I show you Crystallize. Anyways, uh, so here, I'm just going to go ahead and boom. Crystallize. Save. Hooray, we've done that. Now I'm going to go ahead and open that up as well. going to go right here, Crystallize XML. I'm using Notepad++. You can use just Notepad either way. You're going to select all of this, okay, and you're going to copy it. Now we're going to go to the ABC Converter. This is a website called mandolintab.net ABC Converter PHP. Okay, I'll post that link inside the description as well. We're just going to paste everything we copied, and it's going to pop straight in. We're going to hit Submit. The guys who made this, tip of the hat to them because it makes it super easy to get what we want here. Now I'm just going to hit Control A, Control C, so that's select all, copy, right? <clears throat> and now I'm going to reopen this directory. Um, like I said, I've done crystallize before, so I'm just going to delete the old file. And now I am going to go ahead and hit new 
text document and I'm gonna go ahead and rename it. I'm gonna delete everything including the extension. Uh, let me show you that really quick. You're gonna hit start fold Victor <laughs> folder options. You're gonna click there. There it is. You're gonna hit view and then you're gonna make sure that file extensions are always shown so you're gonna uncheck that box. You're going to rename it. We're gonna completely delete everything. We're gonna call it crystallize.abc. Yes, it's pretty much what I want. Now we're gonna hit edit with notepad or whatever you need to to get into this kind of a screen. Boom, so we've just copied everything. We're gonna hit save. Easy peasy. Now we're gonna go into Starbound. I'm gonna hit launch Starbound, like you would normally at home. Do <laughs> Chucklefish, probably the best company out right now in my opinion. Even though I guess that's kind of a blatant statement that is hard to defend, but honestly, this game has been phenomenal. We're gonna hit single player. That's me. And boom. So we are now here. Woohoo! And I am gonna go. I'm gonna use violin because this is a song that's performed on the violin. We're gonna find crystallize because it now shows up. I'm gonna hit play. And look at this. So as you can see, evidently it worked. Now, what you'll see when it doesn't work is, for example, when I hit nothing else matters. This is going to suck. Ah, it just totally crashed my game. Oh no. Okay. So uh, let me go into some cool things that you can also do. So, for example, in this one right here. Okay. Right here. So... This has two instruments. You could play them both on the same thing, but in this game we actually do have a violin and a guitar. Okay, so what I could do is I could actually go here, hit track, remove track, then export this as music, and then I'm going to go into my songs, and then I'm going to go to music XML, and then I'm going to go here, and I'm actually going to call it Crystallize Violin. And then I'm going to come back here, I'm going to... I'm going to undo both of what I just did, and then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to delete now the actual violin, and then I'm going to hit save as, and then we're going to go to songs again, music XML, no, I forgot to hit export, excuse me, we're going to go to export music XML, we're going to go to songs music XML, then I'm going to name this one crystallize and I'm gonna call this guitar okay and now what I can do is now I have two separate XML files with only those instruments and you can actually take those and do the copy and paste get your uh, ABC output for each individual instrument and if you have a friend you can actually save one as crystallized violin the other as crystallized guitar the game doesn't care about what file types or what file th what the file name is but as long as you hit play as band it should play it in sync now if it does care or if they make a future update that says hey we now care then just go ahead and name them both crystallize but keep them separate and know which one's which and you can have one friend playing one instrument while you play one instrument of a song and it'll actually sound perfect I've done this on three different occasions now particularly with the song radioactive that was a fun song to play um, we had one person playing a flute for the voice, we had one person playing a guitar and another person playing another guitar, and it worked out perfectly. So just to give you an idea of the things you can do, if you have any questions, just throw it in the comments, I'll help you out the best I can. And I hope this has been a good, helpful video. I hope you enjoy getting the music you love in a game that I personally love as well. Uh, thank you for watching. Hit subscribe if you'd like, I think I'm just going to start making videos in general, because honestly, this is fun. Cool. Anyways, have a good night, guys.